Yo, what is up, my rebels? Today, we're gonna be giving you guys our predictions for the Rudest Supercard event. Let's get into the video. So, first off, uh, we're gonna be talking about Imar versus Derringer at 79 kilograms. Uh, this is a pretty good matchup to watch. Derringer, a three time NCAA champion for Oklahoma State, while Imar wrestled for Illinois and was a two time champion and a four time finalist, losing to Vincenzo Joseph in his last two years. But um, these guys have wrestled each other at 74 and 79 kgs. Um, and Deeringer recently has beaten him at the 2021 World Team Trials at 79 kgs. Um, and then both of these guys eventually lost to Jordan Burroughs as well. But right now, Deeringer does have the edge in head-to-head -head matchups, um, as well as Imar being out for a bit of time due to him um, not making weight in that JB versus Jordan Burroughs bout. And then also, other than the World Team Trials, hasn't really competed on the senior level. So right now, I would say Danger does have the edge here. I expect him to win this match uh, in a close one to two point match. Then in match two, Miles Martin versus Mark Hall. Both of these guys, studs in the NCAA, both were NCAA champions. Martin at Ohio State while Hall wrestled at Penn State, of course. Um, and Hall, really good in freestyle, especially at the you know age group um, competition levels such as cadet and junior world as he is a junior world champion and a cadet world champion um, recently he did move up to 86 kgs wrestled a bit at 79 um, and in their first and only head-to-head -head matchup i believe he pinned miles martin uh, at the 2021 matteo pelicone in italy so both of these guys uh, it's gonna be a very contested match and you should see these matchups um, occurring again in the future, uh, such as at the World Team Trials for 2022 and at the Olympic Trials in 2024. But I think Hall will definitely get the win here in a close, close match between him and Martin. Then it's Alex Pantaleo versus Jordan Oliver at 70 kgs. Um, Oliver, of course, won the World Team Trials at 65 kgs, but was unable to qualify the weight to the Olympics for the USA. Um, but he has also competed at 70 kgs over the years, but was never really a full 70 kg guy But it'll be interesting to see him compete now at 70 kgs now that he's grown into the weight class while um, Pantaleo who wrestled at Michigan recently won a match over Oliver in 2020 I believe at the flow eight-man challenge uh, He won four to four over criteria. So it was a very very close match um, and this is going to be a very, very close match as well. Expect Oliver, however, to win on criteria in a closely contested match. And then right before the main event, we got Zane Rutherford versus James Green in a match between world team teammates. Rutherford, of course, a three-time NCAA champion for Penn State, while Green was a stud for the University of Nebraska. Usually these guys were on world teams and competed at two different weights. Rutherford usually held 65 kgs, while Green held 70. Uh, but in the past, uh, in 2016, for the Olympic World Team Trials, Green dropped down to 65 and lost to Rutherford. Uh, but recently, at the 2021 uh, World Team Trials, Rutherford moved up to 70 kgs to wrestle, um, but ended up losing before he could wrestle Green, who eventually won that tournament. So it's going to be another close match, but I think Green's going to have the edge here. Rutherford's going to be moving up a bit of weight, and Green's going to be in the weight class that he's the most comfortable in. So should have a bit of a challenge with Rutherford, uh, knowing how technical of a wrestler he is, but I expect him to win by at least one or two takedowns. And then finally, at the main event, Kyle Snyder versus Jaden Cox in one of the most anticipated anticipated matchups in USA freestyle wrestling. Um, these guys were set to meet each other at the 2021 Olympic trials, but did not due to Cox missing the weigh-in times. Um, but both of these wrestlers are just studs. I mean, every time they competed for the USA, they brought home a senior level medal. Uh, in For Snyder, in 2015, he got a world gold medal, 2016 Olympic gold, 2017 world gold, 2018 world silver, 2019 world bronze. 2020 Olympic silver and then 2021 world silver um, so that was seven for seven while uh, Cox of course five for five a 2016 Olympic bronze medalist a 2017 world's bronze medalist a 2018 world champion a 2019 world champion and a 2021 world bronze medalist so that was five for five both of these guys just studs for Team USA uh, it's gonna be a great matchup I mean Cox has a style where he uses a lot of fakes and motion to set up his shots. 
Will Snyder is a lot more pressuring with this offense. A lot of snaps, heavy hands um, to break down his opponents uh, and to get to his own shots. Also has a great counterattack defense. But this is going to be a really good match. In the past, these guys have gone back and forth with each other. Um, both have very good defense and as well as some really good setups to their own shots. Um, and I think this match is really going to be one on their feet. I doubt that any of these wrestlers are going to turn each other um, with any laces or gut wrenches or anything like that. So should be pretty close. Um, but I would see Snyder winning both the first and the second match in this best of three series. Um, solely because Green has been a bit away from wrestling. Uh, he was supposed to wrestle at the World Team Trials, did not. So I think Snyder does have the edge here as well as being you know wrestling in 97 kgs for the past few years so think snyder should win here probably will win on criteria or by one point and guys grab our video talking about the rudest super card predictions if you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like comment down below and sub for more wrestling content like this